Hello everyone and welcome to another math tutorial. In this video, we are going to conclude the series on area and volume by looking at how to find the surface area and volume of spheres. Okay, let's start with the surface area formula for a sphere. Both the surface area and volume of a sphere, the formulas are, are actually quite simple because there's only going to be one uh, independent variable, one variable that we need in order to find the surface area and, and the volume. And, and that is just simply the radius of the sphere. Everything's gonna be in terms of the radius. The surface area S and some texts will use SA for surface area. I'm just gonna write S for surface area is simply four times pi times the radius squared. Okay, we're gonna do a few example problems illustrating the use of this formula and just kind of a variety of what you might be given to begin the problem and how you can kind of work it into this on each of those problems. Okay, our first problem, we've got a sphere. We wanna find the surface area of that sphere. Uh, surface area formula is four pi times radius squared. Here, what's given in this circle is the diameter. The diameter in this circle is nine inches. Well, we can really easily convert to radius of this circle. The radius is just half of the diameter. So half of nine is nine halves or 4.5. Now it's up to you in the work, I think it's up to you, whether you choose to use the fraction nine halves or the decimal 4.5. To me, I think it's easier on the mental aspect, the mental math side of the, the problem, if we just work with the fraction. And I know a lot of us don't like to work with fractions, but that's what I'm gonna do. If I do the decimal, I'm gonna be really kind of tied to the calculator. And I, I wanna kind of be as independent as I can from the calculator. Uh, so here we go with nine halves as our radius. I'm gonna substitute in surface area S is four times pi times the radius, which is nine halves squared. Okay, so that gives four times pi. I need to square the fraction nine halves, and because it's a fraction, it's actually quite easy to square, and easier than the decimal. All I do is square the top number nine and get 81, square the, the bottom number, denominator two, and get four. Uh, so now we've got uh, an opportunity to reduce. I've got four divided by four. Those can cancel out, and we're left with just 81 pi, and that's it. We do need to put some units on it. The units in the problem are inches, and since this is area, we want inches squared. So there's our exact answer. If I want the surface area as an approximation, we're gonna do 81 times pi on the calculator, and so it's approximately 254 point, looks like 47 if you round to the nearest hundredth. So if the directions, whatever your problem, whatever you're working, if the directions say round to the nearest blank, then you're gonna to have to go to the calculator and type that in. Uh, otherwise, an exact value in terms of pi like this is probably gonna be preferred. Okay, our next example, also finding the surface area, this shape's a little unique. We actually don't have a full sphere I have in that picture half a sphere. So here's uh, kind of a, a model of that and what that would look like. It's important to note that when we're doing this surface area, I'm gonna take my surface area formula for a sphere and just divide it by two, because I only have half of this, but also the bottom is a surface. So I'm gonna have to add the bottom into the sphere formula for surface area, because I have to add up all surfaces to get surface area. Here's kind of my, uh, my strategy, if you will, if I kind of write it out, uh, I'm gonna take half of the surface area of the sphere, and I'm gonna add to that the area of that circle that's on the bottom. So those formulas for the sphere, it's four pi radius squared, 
And for the circle, it's just simply pi times radius squared. Half of four is two, so I have two pi radius squared plus pi times radius squared. Uh, these are in fact like terms. That's great, that's gonna save us some work. I can just add this together. I've got two here, I've got one there. So I wanna do three pi r squared. And we've actually just kind of developed a formula for surface area of a hemisphere. So if you wanna make note of that, if you wanna add that somewhere, well, that's a formula for surface area of a hemisphere. So all we need is the radius. The radius in this uh, hemisphere is 11.2. So I'm gonna do three pi times 11.2 squared. Because that problem was presented as a decimal, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as a decimal. And I'm actually just going to put that into the calculator. 11.2 squared and then times 3 is 376.32 pi. Units are meters, so meters cubed. That's our exact answer. If you want an approximate answer, I'm gonna let you do this. Just type this 376.32 times pi, use the pi button, and you can have an approximate value for that that you can round, but I'm gonna leave it just like that, and we'll move on from here. Okay, one more surface area example. This one's a little bit different. In this example, we are not actually finding surface area, but instead we are given surface area. Uh, so we can use this formula that, that we've been practicing still. Uh, we're just going to solve for a, a different part of the formula. So surface area again is 4 pi radius squared. The difference in this problem is we have been given radius and looking for surface area. Here it's just kind of backwards. And in fact, if we read the problem, the whole thing, we're not actually looking for the radius, we're looking for the diameter. That's okay, that's a really simple modification to do at the very end. I'm gonna let the formula work its way out. I'm gonna find radius and then I'll change it into the diameter. So let's put this surface area, 144 pi, in here. So we have 144 pi equals four pi times radius squared. To solve this, we're gonna divide both sides by four pi. Okay, so four pi cancels four pi, leaves just r squared. Over on this side, pi cancels pi, and 144 divided by four is 36. Now to complete this, we will just take the square root of both sides. So the radius is going to be Six. We'll ignore the plus and minus in this instance because the radius can't be negative. So radius is just six. Now, we want to change that into the diameter, so we're just going to double six. So that would give us a diameter D of 12. Uh, let's look for units. Surface area was square centimeters, so this is going to be 12 centimeters. Okay, next we're gonna look at volume of a sphere. And just like with surface area, there's only gonna be one independent variable, just the radius is all that we're gonna to need to get this done. Volume formula that you need to know is 4 thirds pi times radius cubed. Let's practice that with a few example problems. Okay, we're gonna find the volume of this sphere. This sphere has a radius of 13 centimeters. Our volume formula is 4 thirds pi times radius cubed. So put the 13 in for the radius. We have 4 thirds pi times 13 cubed. It's gonna be 4 thirds pi. Uh, 13 cubed is 2,197. If I multiply that times four, we get 8,788 thirds 
pi. Fortunately, that does not reduce. I can't divide that by three and reduce that down. So that's just the answer. So let's tack on our cubic units and that's it. Okay, that's our exact answer in terms of pi. Of course, as we've seen before, if you need an approximate answer, just key that all into a calculator and you can get a decimal value to whatever place value you need. Okay, our next example problem, it's just slightly different. I just wanted to show a volume problem when you're given the diameter of a sphere. So the diameter here is 10. All we have to do is cut that in half to get a radius of five. So our volume formula, it's gonna be four thirds pi times radius cubed. So four thirds pi times five cubed. Five to the third power is 125. That doesn't divide by three, so I'm gonna go ahead and multiply it up to the four, and I'm gonna get 500 thirds pi. Units are inches, so cubic units, I need inches cubed. Again, that's my exact answer in terms of pi. You can go to the calculator if you need to do anything more with that. Okay, the next example problem is a composite figure. I like these composite figures. Here we've got uh, essentially like a snow cone. We've got a cone and then we've got a hemisphere that's been placed on top of that. Everyone's had probably an ice cream cone or a snow cone. That's kind of the shape we're dealing with in this particular problem. So in order to find the volume, we need to find the volume of each of these pieces uh, and then add them together. So I need the volume of the cone plus half the volume of the sphere. I don't want the whole thing because we only have a hemisphere there on top of that cone. So the volume of a cone, one third pi times radius squared times height. The volume of the sphere, I'm gonna multiply by half. So we have half times four thirds times pi times radius cubed. Can't do anything to really put those two pieces together because I've got H here and I don't have H on this. So I'm just gonna work them both separately and then I'll do what I can to combine the answers in the end. Here we've got in this cone and sphere, the radius is six. And for the height of the cone, we have 12. Okay, so let's drop all those values into the appropriate places in the formulas. We're gonna have one third pi times six squared times 12 plus, I'm gonna go ahead and do some reducing here. Two goes into four twice. So that's gonna make two thirds pi times six cubed. Okay, so we have one third pi, six squared is 36 times 12. Two thirds pi times six to the third power is 216. So let's see what we can do to, to put all this together. Say three goes into 36, 12 times. So that term is 12 times 12 pi. So I have 144 pi plus, and then the next problem, three goes into 216, 72 times. So we have two times 72, which is 144 pi. Those are like terms. So we get 288 pi uh, of volume. So cubic units, we want feet cubed. Okay, our final example problem of this video asks us to find the volume of a sphere that has a surface area of 400 pi square feet. So if I look at the volume formula, volume formula is four thirds pi times radius uh, cubed. So I'm not gonna get very far with this if I don't know what the radius is. So I need the radius. If I had the radius, I would just plug it in there and I'd work out the volume and I would be finished. So that becomes the problem is to find the radius. So I'm gonna find 
the radius. And I'm gonna find the radius with this extra information right here. Surface area formula is four pi times radius squared. And I know the surface area is 400 pi. So I can set that up to where R, the radius, is the only variable left, and I can solve for that. I'm gonna divide both sides by four pi. So I'm gonna have R squared equals 400 divided by four is 100, and we'll take the square root of 100, and the radius is 10. Okay, so that radius value is now going to be used over here to find volume. So let's go ahead and do that. Volume is going to be 4 thirds pi times 10 cubed. So volume is going to be 4 thirds pi 10 cubed is 1000. 1000 doesn't divide by 3, so I'm just going to multiply it to the 4. I get a volume of 4,000 thirds pi. Uh, I will need units. Uh, units in the problem were feet squared. The radius then was feet. The volume is going to be feet cubed. And again, as I've been stopping the last few problems in an exact form in terms of pi, if you need a decimal value for that, answer, just go ahead and use the calculator to convert that into a decimal. Okay, that concludes this final video on surface area and volume of a sphere. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.